Welcome! In front of me I have Xiaomi Watch S4 and I'm gonna show you how to enable the phone notifications for this watch on the Android phone. Basically, if you want to receive the notifications from your phone on your watch. Before we start, if you want to receive the notifications from your phone on your watch, your watch needs to be paired with your phone via the Mi Fitness application. And once the devices are paired together, we can continue. And now we can open the Mi Fitness application on the phone that is paired with our watch. In the app, you should see the health page. Now tap on the device icon to open the device page. And on this page, you should see your Xiaomi Watch S4. Now let's scroll down and find the option called notifications and calls. Once you find it, tap on it. And here, uh, we have two types of notifications. We have app notifications and incoming calls. If you want to enable the notifications for the applications, tap on app notifications. And if you don't have the required permissions allowed, you will see the pop-up on the screen. You need to tap on OK. And here, once you will get redirected to the device and app notifications, you need to find the Mi Fitness app and tap on it and tap on allow notification access and tap on allow. Once you allow it, uh, you can go back, but for some reason I have two of them, so I'm gonna allow it for both both of the apps, and then I'm gonna tap on back button to go back to the application, and it should bring you to this page, app notifications. And now we can turn on or off the notifications by tapping on the switch, and we have also some uh, more options like receive only when the phone is locked. So basically, if this option is enabled uh, and you're using your phone, the screen on your phone is enabled, you won't be receiving the notifications on your on your watch. Next we have the wake screen. If this option is enabled uh, and when you receive the notification, it will wake up the screen on your watch. Uh, and the option notify only when worn. If this option is enabled, uh, if you're not wearing your watch, maybe it's on the desk like mine or stuff like that, you won't be receiving notification. But if you disable this option, you will be receiving them anyway. Uh, and then we have more options and here we have mirror phone notifications or uh, custom notifications. If you select this option, it basically will mirror the settings from your phone for the notifications. But if you select custom notifications, it will show you the list of applications and you can enable and disable the notifications for specific apps. And how it works is basically if you enable the notifications, let's say for Discord, and you receive the notification from Discord on your phone, that notification will be forwarded to your watch. But if you disable it, it won't be forwarded to your watch. You will see it only on your phone. Okay, and then we can go back. And if you want to enable the notifications for calls, tap on incoming calls, uh, tap on switch next to optimize coming uh, notifications, incoming call notifications. And if you don't have the required, required permissions allowed, you need to tap, tap on allow and allow the required per permissions. Next, we have the show contact info. If this option is enabled, and when somebody calls you, the watch will display the number and the contact information if the contact is saved on your phone. So you, so you will see the name of the contact and stuff like that. So if you enable this option, you will need to allow some uh, permissions. And then we have reply with message, so quick rep responses, and you can enable it if you require, or rather, if you enable it, you will allow some permissions. Uh, and uh, you can then edit the quick responses by tapping here, and you can add new ones, edit the old ones, and stuff like that. So we can add one. Uh, and tap on check mark to save and we can tap on edit to move them on the list so you can set this one to be first uh, and you can also remove them so if you tap on minus it will just disappear okay and that's about all when it comes to responses and I think that's about all when it comes to notifications, so we should be able to receive them. We're gonna test it. I'm gonna send myself a message on Discord and we'll see if we, if it pops up on the on the watch. So let's check it. Okay, we didn't receive the notification on our phone, which we should, I believe. Let's check if we're logged in into Discord. Um, we are, so we should be receiving the notifications from it. but something is blocking it. So I'm gonna attempt to uh, fix it. First thing I'm gonna do is to try to turn off Bluetooth on our phone, wait for a minute, for a minute, maybe maybe less, then turn it back on, wait until the watch is done connecting with our phone again, 
and try again. Okay, this didn't help, so I'm gonna now turn on the Do Not Disturb mode and turn it off and see if it's gonna help. That didn't help either, so another thing I can try is resetting the, uh, the phone. So I'm gonna press and hold the power button, reboot the device and let's see if it's gonna help. Okay, let's check now. Since the phone is done rebooting, uh, let's try sending another message. For some reason, it wasn't working before. Maybe now it's gonna work. Still no notification. So I'm gonna try to open the settings. Uh, notifications. And check. And Discord is enabled, so it should be working. I'm gonna re-enable re it, so turn it off and turn it on. Uh, uh, enable the bubble, I don't think it matters, but let's just enable it and check now. Interesting. Should be working. Is it because the app, let's see, device, uh, notifications and calls, app notifications. This option is disabled, this option is enabled, it's fine. This is disabled, so it should be working even though uh, I'm using the, uh, the watch is on the desk. So if this option is disabled, it should be working. The problem is I'm not receiving the notifications at all from Discord on my, my phone, even though I am logged in into a Discord. And I am receiving the messages and also the notifications, which is very weird. Let's try to turn off the Bluetooth and set message again. And when I turn off the Bluetooth, the notifications arrive. This is interesting. Okay, so let's try turning on the Bluetooth. Wait till the watch is done connecting. Okay, it says connected. Let's try again. No, we got the notification on our phone now and we also got it on our watch. So I'm not sure what fixed it. I believe turning off the Bluetooth, sending the notification and then re-enabling re the Bluetooth and then sending the notification again. Something was interrupting the notifications between the watch and phone. So one solution I recommend is restart, then uh, trying to turn off the Bluetooth, wait for a while, turn it back on, uh, reconnect the watch, try to re-enable or disable and then re-enable the do not disturb mode, stuff like that. Uh, anything that requires the notifications, try to turn it on or turn it off, turn it off and then turn it back on and hopefully that will uh, solve your problems. But as you can see now it's working, so we have the notifications on our phone and our watch. It is working. Okay, so that's how you enable the phone notifications for this watch on the Android phone, even though you need to troubleshoot a, a little. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel and leaving a like on the video.